everybody, it's Marty from Aspect LED. Today, we are going to show the setup and all the features of the Touch wireless RGB LED controller. For more helpful videos, please like and subscribe. This controller comes with both a receiver and a remote. The receiver's max power that it can handle is 144 watts for 12 volts DC power and 288 watts at 24 volts DC power. The power supply connects on the left side, red to DC positive and black to DC negative. Today we are using our 24 volt DC W series RGB strip lights in standard bright. The black wire connects to the V positive terminal and the red, green and blue wires connect to the labeled terminals. The remote uses three AAA batteries. Make sure when you install them that you do not touch any of the side buttons because that can affect the sensitivity of the touch buttons. The remote should already be paired to the receiver. When you connect power, the red light on the receiver will be on steady. Press the power button on the remote and the red light should flash. These strip lights are already paired. If the red light does not flash, make sure that the batteries are correctly seated in the controller. The LED strip connected to the receiver should change color when you move your finger on the color wheel. If it does not, you may need to pair the receiver to the remote. To do this, get, disconnect the power to the receiver and wait 10 seconds. Press and hold the brighter button on the remote. The red light on the bottom should be flashing. Reconnect power to the receiver. The connected strip lights will flash. The remote is now paired to the receiver. The remote has a color wheel, a brighter and dimmer buttons, mode forward and backwards buttons, and a play pause button. To change colors, move your finger around the color wheel. To brighten or dim the color, press the brighter or dimmer buttons. To cycle forward or backwards between different modes, press the four dot buttons. There are seven static color modes and multiple color changing modes. You can increase and decrease the speed of the color changing modes with the brighter and dimmer buttons, which are also speed buttons. If you need to pause a color changing mode, you can press the pause button and then press it again to resume the color changing. This remote and controller are for controlling one zone. To control multiple zones on a larger system, please check out our multi-zone products. Thank you for watching. For more helpful videos, please like and subscribe. Thank you.